Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to LA Noir for more crime fighting point and click action. Uh, we are right back where we left off at the Marquee Printing Company. We're about to do a little investigation here, I think, after the little tip off from Gene Archer. Uh, but first, before we, uh, before we carry on, if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Uh, hey. Sorry, the notification oh, bell down below moving. the video. So you get a notification to your device every time I upload. And as always, guys, thank you all for your ongoing support. Um, and the usual warning, this episode could contain scenes which some viewers find upsetting or distressing. So let us carry on and head into this place. I guess we just go through this door. And what can I do for you, gentlemen? I'm a Got some questions. Who's in charge here? I am Gordon Lightfall. What's this about? Gordon Lightfall. We understand that your company prints California vehicle titles. Yes, I have the government contract to print pink slips. I've done for some years. Okay. Have you had any goods or equipment stolen recently? We're running up against stolen cars with seemingly legitimate paperwork. Not recently. Uh, have you ruled out forgery? There's no shortage you of know talented something. artists in this town. Yeah, you know something, mate. Okay, should we, what should we do? Can we look around or? No, I guess we've got to talk to him. I don't know why it stopped the you, Mr. little conversation. That's kind of weird. Right, knowledge of theft racket. Mr. Lightball, we're currently working two auto theft cases. Do you know anything about a car theft ring? Uh, certainly not. Why <laughs> would I get mixed up in a thing like that? Oh, why'd you hesitate, dude? Look, he is definitely hiding something, isn't he? Uh, do we have anything to tie him to it? Let us have a look. Anything to do with Gordon Lightvol? No, not really. I mean, the only thing... I mean, that was the thing we got from the cop. That won't help. Um, no, not really. Uh, we're going to have to bad copy it, I think. We have suspects with legitimate pink slips that were printed here, Lightvol. You better give me something before I bring the whole department down here. Don't yeah, be better give me something light, though. As a matter of fact, we had a similar problem a couple of years ago. A number of used huh. car lots were selling blank documents to a criminal organization. Why didn't you mention that before? Okay, pink slip supply. Do the names Cliff Harrison and James Belasco mean anything to you? No, they do not. God, he's such a liar. I think it's bad cop again though, isn't it? Because we didn't have anything. Harrison bought his car from Coombs. The pink slip looks good, and that points the finger here. Do you have any yeah. employee trouble? And it's got your company no, name on the bottom. They've all been carefully screened. Look, now that I think about it, the name Coombs sounds oh, familiar. Oh, yeah, funny I that. They may have been involved Has it just in rung a bell somewhere in the back of your house? mind? All right, Coombs Auto Deliveries. Do you have a delivery ledger, Mr. Lightball? We would like to cross-check against the Coombs Automotive Emporium. It's a little out of the ordinary, Detective. Uh, I'm not sure I can share those sorts of records. Okay, I think we're just going to have to bad copy it again, because that's not even a, a lie or anything, is it? Hand it over, Lightball. You don't want us having bad thoughts about you, do you? Very well. But this really is irregular. No, it's Over not. <laughs> We're investigators. Why would it be uh, irregular? Okay, Marquee Printing Co. Look for patterns, recurring names, unusual addresses, anything out of the ordinary. Ah, oh, there's Bigelow. You certainly encourage repeat business, light bulb. This 58 Industrial up. Street. Oh, okay. I guess we Sorry found it. Sir. We'll let you know if there are any developments. Okay. So I guess we're going to 58 Industrial Street, which was the address we actually got given by Gene Archer, wasn't it? So we sort of knew we were going there anyway. Um, but let's head there now. So, I mean, did we even need to come here? Not really. We didn't learn anything new. I suppose it's helpful, though. We've got a lot of clues, haven't we, for this one? I think this is actually um, one of the DLC cases, I believe. 
It seems a lot longer than the other cases to me. Are these people going through the red lights? Yeah, I don't know. It just seems a lot longer. I don't know if it is a DLC case or... I'm enjoying it though. Even though it is longer than the other cases, I think it's quite in-depth, isn't it? So, I mean, we will do some of these dispatch calls at some point, but... <gasps> get out the road, man! But at the, at the moment, I'm just enjoying doing the cases. So I don't feel like doing the dispatch calls. I might at some point. Might want to change it up a little bit. I guess they might contribute to the story or something, I don't know. Maybe they're just standalone things. Maybe they increase our level or something. I really don't know. If you guys know, actually. Um, I'm looking at the likes of Matthew Antoine. Who knows everything about this game. Um, yeah, let me know like whether it ties into the story or... Whether it helps us in any way. Or if it is just like a, a side thing to do which doesn't really matter. Right, 58 Industrial Street. We've gone past it. Brilliant. Quick, I'm just testing out the brakes on the car, guys. Don't worry about that. <laughs> right, here we are. 58 Industrial Street, 4.40pm. Okay. We should call for a couple of black and whites. The question down here. I thought you Marines were gung-ho, Cole. You have a 45, don't you ever want to use it? I'll take the back. Not Just give me a few seconds really. To get I'd rather do this smoothly. Right, I guess we're going in shooting then. <laughs> we haven't done any shooting for ages on this game. Not since like that very first introduction case type thing. When we stopped the bank robbery or whatever it was. It's been a long old time. Cole Phelps, LAPD. All of you are coming downtown with me. How do you get into cover again? R1. There we go. Oh, there's a lot of guys in here. Is there an explosive canister anywhere? There is. Always go for the explosive canisters. I was talking to Poofy about this actually on um, my son Andreas' playthrough. If you turn up and there's explosive cases or canisters, you know you're... um. Whoa, that guy shot my hat off. That was lucky. Yeah, you know you're good if you see explosive canisters. Where's this last one? How do you run? Oh, like that. Okay. Is he upstairs or something? Oh, crap. No, 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 no. Oh, no, I'm getting shot. I'm trying, I'm trying. Wow, I wasn't expecting there to be more guys upstairs. Alright, there's one over there. I can see him behind those boxes. We're a bit lucky there, actually. Bukowski, I swear down, don't die on me. I might hate you, but I don't want you to die just yet. Oh, <gasps> crap! Kill a cop, and it's the electric. Chair. Bad time to reload the gun. Try the door at the end. I heard something. Okay, we did quite well. I've got a bullet wound in my back, uh, which isn't ideal. All right, all right, don't shoot. Keep your hands up. Watch him, Bukowski. He doesn't move until I've tossed this place. Right, keep your gun on him. Let's um, have a look around this place then, I guess. Is there anything in it? What's this? Delivery note. Marquee print to Gordon Lightvol. There's nothing like going direct to the source. Thought Gordon Lightvol wasn't involved. Betting, Betting slips, slips with Lightvol's like name Lightvol on it. Has been on a losing streak. Ah, does he owe money? Possible. What else do we have in here? 
Marquee Printing Co. Pink Slips. slips here to keep them stealing cars till Christmas. Okay, can we... No, we can't look in more detail. Pink slips and stolen cars that leads right to your door, Bigelow. You're in this up to your neck, but I don't think you're the man in charge. Make it easier on yourself. Give him up. I had to work on cars for customers. You charge in here shooting up the place like it's the Ballad of Bulge. I can't give you anything. Well, your guys were shooting at me first. Okay, let's ask him about the pink slip supply. We know about marquee printing. You can make this easier on yourself by giving us your man on the inside. I sometimes repair cars and put them back on the road. I need a pink slip to resell them. There's no problem with that. Yeah, except that they're actually stolen. Um, do we have evidence, though? Uh, check for... Oh, look at all these clues, man. There's so many clues here. Note from Ray Pinker. I don't think that'll work. No, I don't think we do, actually. All right, bad cop. There look how suspicious he looks. He's doing the shifty eye thing. Like the dog from The Simpsons. The shifty eyes. Okay, okay, tough guy. I get the message. Lightfall. The guy who runs Marquis. He's the See, it is Lightfall. I knew it. He likes to spend big at the track. He and he's in debt. Association with Lightvol. Lightvol, the guy with no luck at the track. Tell me about him. One well, of the guys lying over there. You're right. He has no luck. No, he's not. Okay, do we have any evidence to tie them together? Um, let's have a look. Maybe that. The note, perhaps? I'm thinking the note. Can we use... Let's use an intuition point. Just to, um... Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm going to go for it, then. That's the best lie you can come up with, Bigelow? Hey, What's up with his nose? You, detective? I'm not exactly in a good position here now, am I? Ah, it's taken some of them out. Right, so I think it's the note. Gordon Lightball yes. owns Marquee Printing, a government print shop. He's losing big at the track. What is going on with Phelps' yeah, nose? So it's got a big line down it. Beds find out. Contracts will be all over. Lightball plays ball. Hmm. All right, Bigelow. The heat is off you. Play your cards right, and you'll be able to count your time in Quentin on one hand. <laughs> yeah, doubt it. He's still going away. Even if it is only for a little time. Still getting locked up, bro. Okay. Now we've got to apprehend Gordon Lightvol. Why have we come out so far away from the car? Come on, Phelps, hurry up. Get in the damn car. Bukowski so lazy, look at him. Get in the car, Bukowski. What the hell? What is going on? What was going on with the door there? It was really weird. Right, back to Marquee Printing Company then. To arrest Gordon Lightvolt. Mind out. Don't crash into... Right, that was him. He crashed into me. <laughs> Wasn't my fault. What a mess. Ugh, gonna take some cleaning up, that's for sure. I wish it hadn't gone that way. Well, we shouldn't bring guns to work with them. We didn't have a lot Yeah, of I mean, we didn't have really have much else we could do in that situation. Out one minute, innocence the next. <laughs> All we shouted was LAPD and they started shooting the, the place like up. Bigelow spend so much time convincing themselves that they're not doing anything wrong. That they actually start to believe their own bullshit. They get sloppy. Yep. Bigelow, Lightball, all of them. If they hadn't, who knows how long they could have kept this racket going. Complacency oh, yeah, exactly. It was a good little scam they had going on. Whoa. What is a major 415? Okay, I think we're going to put the sirens on because we're getting a bit lucky with this driving here. Mind out, people. Coming through. Police business. Get out of the way. Oof. Oof. That was lucky. Mind out, people. Come on, we've got a criminal to catch here. 
Get me nearly there. We'll turn the sirens off so he doesn't do a runner. Marquee Printing Company, 4.49pm. Is that only nine minutes? <laughs> Seems ridiculous. We're back. Time to arrest you. You're under arrest. You again? This harassment is starting to wear thin. Okay. Deliveries to Industrial Street, you. We found a box of pink slips in a warehouse full of hot cars. You signed for them, Lightbulb. I signed for yeah, all Lightbulb. the orders and deliveries. You'll need something better than that, cowboy. Oh, I've got evidence. We found some evidence Save on you. Ball. We already have all we need to send you down. I've had enough of this. You either produce some shred of proof, or I call my attorney. It's not going to come to that. Look at all these clues. We've got the betting slips. With his name on it. You're in the hole with the organization. We know about the debts, Lightball. I agree. I have a small problem. Mm, it's a big I'm problem from what we've been told. 20,000 big I'll ones we've names. been told. Uh, I need you to keep this out of the paper. I need... You need to shut up now, Lightball. You need to come down to the station to be locked Lord away. Lightball, I'm charging you with conspiracy and fraud. Hands behind your back. Yeah, hands behind your back, Lightball. The LAPD Central Traffic Division has today smashed a nationwide auto theft ring, right? That's Private right. That's how we did that. I mean, Bukowski, oh, again, Traffic didn't really do much. Detectives confronted a large group of armed thugs. After an exchange of gunfire, more than a dozen... I mean, he helped with the shootout a little bit, I suppose, the but... The LAPD that is pretty much it. No casualties. Damn fine work, Phelps. Now get out there Thank and you, sir. Bad guys, will you? I, I will do. This. Happy reading. Okay. Not bad at all. And we own the trophy, the printer's devil. Here we go. A slip of the tongue. Five stars. 18 out of 18 clues. 21 out of 21 questions correct. And only $16 of damage this time. We're getting better, guys. Case notes. With the theft racket smashed, Light Vault and his cronies will climb over one another to cut a deal. Sounds like a successful day in the office. Let's um, close it. What's next? What's our next magical case? Oh, it's a flashback. Back to the My army days. Was a shipping business in San Francisco. We used to have two ships a week. To Tokyo. We've been in shipping for two generations, Hank. I've never been on a voyage anywhere. I feel like Odysseus in the beginning of his journey. The Odyssey took ten years, Cole. This is the American century. America can rule the world after we win this war. We need to stay alive, Cole. Okay, mate. If you say so. You're with the veterans are saying to each other? No. Golden Gate in 48. That's four more hard years of fighting. So many soldiers, man. Okay, another little flashback there. So, I wonder what the next case brings. The Fallen Idol. Ooh. I love the little music transitions as well, and the, the black and white, the, it's so cool. What the hell? Did you rig that car to go over the edge? That's weird. Huh. Maybe someone was in the car? Two women, possible drink drive. How was that a case? The broad says she was doped and that somebody tried to kill her. Where did this take place? It looked like somebody tried to kill That's somebody. The you're gonna love. Right across the street. What? Across the street. A Chevy Styline took a nosedive off the escarpment, fetched up underneath a Cola King billboard. Up to it, boys. We got bad guys to catch. Okay. I want to make homicide. New clue. Victim drugs. Chevy later, Styline is a new clue and also a new objective. Investigate the crash site. Tear to my eye. 
New person of interest, female passenger, I'm just trying to female it. driver, and new location is the crash site. New person of interest, suspect... What? There's a lot going on, isn't there? So it happened right across the street from here. Uh, how the hell do we get out of this place again? Here we go. So do we need to take the car? Maybe. We'll take the car anyway. Come on, Bukowski, hurry up. It just takes forever, doesn't he? It's kind of annoying. He's a really annoying partner, actually. Doesn't do much. Full of wise remarks. Or wise ass remarks, I should say. Get out of the road, mate. Okay, let's get to this crime scene. How the hell do we get there? Oh, here we go. Looks like we're going off road to get here. Stop just ahead. I'm stopping, I'm stopping. Right, here's the crash site. Her face looks Okay guys, I think we'll leave it there. We are out of time. Um so we will try to look into this more in the next one. Um, yeah, it's getting interesting, isn't it? I didn't know whether it was going to save there, so I thought we'd, you know, let it go for now. It might go on for a bit too long. Um, but yeah, I am loving this game. I know I say it every episode, but it's so good. It is honestly just ticking all the boxes for me right now. And I'm so glad that I um, listened to your, you guys' advice to play it. Because it is amazing. Um, but that is going to do it, guys. So... As always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so. And I will see you all next time.